Blessings everyone, welcome here, welcome back. Let's take in a deep breath in through your nose to ground. And as you release, imagine that there are roots coming out of the bottom of your body, your legs, your spine, and anchoring deep down into the center of the earth, the core of the earth, rooting your energy down, bringing your energy down from the mind into the body, into earth. Grounding into the present moment. And now visualize this ball of white light that is in your heart space. This ball of light that is shining so brightly. that is opening your heart up to receive the transmission of today. I ask that you're present with an open heart and open mind to receive the transmission, the codes and the messages that are coming through for you. This morning I received a very clear message from myself as well to share with all of you. This message is about releasing and answering your calling. If you're listening to this, you know deep within you know what it is he came here to do. Deep within you know. But you're holding back. You're unsure to take the step forward or not. You're worried and fearful. And that is why you have not fully stepped into your calling and if you're listening and resonate with this I invite you they're using the word urge I urge you to finish this till the end and reflect even after this transmission Before I begin the transmission, they want me to share a few things to have at the back of your mind as you're listening. What are your old stories, old programming, old trauma, this life or past life, if you know? What are they holding you back from? How are they holding you back from stepping into your light, your calling? We want to give gratitude and thanks to it that it has served us, no doubt keeping us safe. So how have your old stories served you? And how is it no longer going to serve you in the future, in this path that you're called to walk? 
Muru ukwa aya sa tara akiaya mala akiaya su uturu ukwaya mala usu usuwa aya turu ukwaya mulu kuruaya sa mulu ukuruaya sa mala ya sa mulu ukuruaya sa tara ya sa mala kuru uaya sa tara ya mala akiaya sa atara akiaya sa usu uturu ukwaya ma ulu ukwaya sa mulu ukwaya sa ma ulu ukwaya Sala mulu akaya sa tur ukwa aya sa mala akaya nara akaya mala akaya su tur ukwa aya na ukur ukwa aya ana asala akaya mala utur ukwa aya na ma ala akaya sa tu su waya tu su waya ulu ukwa aya mu wa akaya ma ala akaya sa tur ukwa aya mala akaya sa tur ukwa aya sa ma ala akaya sa Usu uturu ukwa ayamu usu uturu ukwa ayamu usu uturu ukwa ayamu usu uturu ukwa ayam mulu uku uaya mulu uku uaya mulu uku usu uturu ukwa ayam mulu uku uaya mulu uku uaya usu uturu ukwa ayam mulu umu ulu umu u sara akaya na sara akaya na sara akaya ulu ukwa ayam na sara akaya na sara akaya usu uturu Ukwa ayasa atara akaya ma usu ukuru uayasa atara akaya usu uturu ukwa ayana sa akaya usu uturu ukwa ayasa atara yakena ayamala akaya su uturu ukwa aya ma ala akaya sa usu uturu ukwa ayana ma asaya atara akaya mu usu uturu ukwa aya ma asa akaya sa usu uturu ukwa ayana Uru ukwa ayamu usu uturu ukwa ayana Atara akaya usu waya atara akaya Usu uturu ukwa ayamu Mu usu ukwa ayasa atara akaya Mu usu uturu ukwa ayasa Mu usu uturu ukwa ayamu uturu ukwa ayama Ayasa maaya ayama asaya ama ayasa atara akaya Ma asaya atara ma akaya sa atara amaya
because I was channeling that I felt a lot of dense fears coming up from the root those codes were bringing it up bringing it up taking it out from your body transmuting it into light what I saw was like a black ball of energy that was very heavy that was being lifted out and then the codes transmuting it into a white golden ball of light giving it a lot of love gratitude for all that it has served us but now we no longer can allow it to continue to reside in our bodies and in our energetic field and so it has been transmuted and released into the universe what came up for you came up for you. Observe. Don't run. Observe. Allow yourself to feel into all of it. How does it feel in your body? How is it holding you back? Allow yourself to feel the clenching in your stomach, your chest, your face. And now, very intentionally releasing it. You're safe. You're supported. You're safe. You're supported. I'm receiving the guidance to share what came up for me. I journaled on this before I turned on the video to record this for you. I'm guided to share this because they're saying that many are going through similar experiences and fears and that this will serve you. For me, the soul pattern that was from past lives of poverty is creating and repeating the story of I do not have enough and that's money specifically I do not have enough and in this life even though I do have enough every time I spend I still constantly feel that I do not have enough and that somehow my bank account will fall to zero and even negative. And this fear is so heavy that even buying myself a coffee, I feel the pinch. And that has been stopping me from answering the guidance of taking certain certifications, learning certain modalities. And taking that leap and to step into this fully <sighs> how has this searched me though it has given me a lot of quote-unquote financial stability I say quote-unquote because we see already that it is not true that a job will provide you with financial stability, anything can change. But it has given me a lot in terms of money that I need to pay for the big ticket items that are coming into my life, like my house, my wedding, all very, very beautiful things to celebrate about. And without this job, I wouldn't have been able to celebrate and appreciate this whole journey and process without stress and without fear of not having enough because there is a lot 
of money I need to take up up front. And I often feel guilty for not being able to contribute. So it has served me. It has also served me in really giving me the financial support I need to now venture into exploring singing bowls, certifications, hypnosis, investing in myself to take classes, to immerse in the community here in Singapore, and to receive the healing and goodness and light from the community here that are already doing their work and in this process I'm receiving that I will also be inspired and doors, opportunities will open up so without this financial stability I wouldn't be able to do all of this and so even though I'm taking step by step day by day I'm grateful for it for the opportunities and the ability to also share with all of you without any expectations or need to make money out of it which I'm very very grateful for because this is this is all that and the reason why I started doing this work is to just be able to share and assist and guide someone so thank you for being here thank you and the last thing they want to say is now moving forward observe when these soul patterns these limiting beliefs these stories are playing out in your day-to-day life and when that comes up observe and notice how it makes you feel and now change change your stories around it for example let's say if i'm buying a coffee that's seven bucks and i feel oh i shouldn't be spending this money i should be saving all of this up because i won't have enough instead of allowing myself to spend with that guilt change that to this for example i'm grateful that i'm earning enough to be able to buy this coffee. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, this energy, money is energy, to give to the person that is making my coffee and in exchange receiving this beautiful coffee for my soul. Money is energy, and it will flow. When it goes up, it will come in, and I, and there will be a constant circulation of energy that keeps this entire energy of money, my savings, healthy, this flow of energy. It's like how energy needs to flow within us as well. It's the same, your bank account needs to flow needs to have healthy energetic flow everything is energy remember when you give you will receive you will thank you for joining me blessings to all of you if you need any more support i do the akashic records and that is also how i have been made aware of this past life soul story and trauma that i have brought into this life and it has been very helpful so if you need that support I'm here send me a message send me an email if you have something you want to share from the bottom of your heart as well and you need a safe space my email is always open my DMs on Instagram are always open drop me an email a message I'll be happy to support you blessings everyone hope you have a beautiful day namaste